Hey you guys, it's Vijaya and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make peas palau which is a rice dish featuring green peas. This is one that you guys have been requesting for quite some time now and it's a very simple rice dish that I like to pair with things like butter chicken and chicka chicken tikka masala, that's what I'm trying to say, and lamb rogan josh. Um, it's very simple, very flavorful, but really, really delicious. But before we get started on the recipe, don't forget to hit me up on Instagram if you want to follow all the recipes that I'm making as well as my day-to-day -day life. And of course, if you're looking for the full recipe, just click that info box down below and everything you need is there. Let's make some palau. So just like with any other rice dish I prepare, it's time to rinse our basmati rice. Some of you guys may refer to it as basmati, but my mom would kill me if I pronounced it that way. So we're gonna stick to the traditional form of basmati. <laughs> okay, so I have a little bit of rice in this bowl and I'm gonna add some cold water and we're gonna rinse it until it becomes sort of cloudy. That's all of that starch that's being released. And we're gonna keep repeating that process of rinsing, draining, rinsing and draining until the water runs clear. I rinsed my rice several times and then I topped it off with a little more cold water. And now here is the key, people. When you are making basmati rice, you want it to soak for a minimum of 30 minutes. And what this does is it plumps up the rice so that when you cook it, it stays nice and elongated, the grains don't break, and that makes for such an elegant, beautiful bowl of rice. So we're gonna let this hang for 30 minutes and then get ready to boil. So we're gonna season up the water that we're gonna boil the rice in. So I have a few spices here, some bay leaf, some cinnamon stick, green cardamom, clove, and a little bit of salt, and they're all gonna go into the mix and make the rice really, really aromatic. I'm gonna gently lower my rice into the boiling water, like so. Okay, I'm gonna give it a stir to make sure nothing sticks to the bottom. And now we're gonna let this boil for about seven minutes. You wanna cook this until it's just cooked through but still has a little bit of a bite because we're gonna continue cooking it when we fry it up. Okay, so I just drained my rice and I've set it over the top of a pot just so that it air dries a little bit before it hits the frying pan. And to my frying pan, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil and we're gonna do what I call uh, tarka or seasoning of spices or tempering of spices, okay? So you want this oil to get nice and hot, you really want it to dance in the pan, and then we're gonna add some cumin seed. And as you can see, that cumin starts to crackle right away, and it's gonna crisp up and get such an amazing texture as well as release all of its amazing aroma, and that literally takes 10 seconds. So we're already there. Now I'm gonna add my green peas. They're frozen. <laughs> and give that a nice stir. And you just want to heat the peas through. So my peas have this vibrant green color. We don't want to cook them any further. We want to maintain that greenness. And in goes my rice. And we're just going to scatter it in, increase my heat to high and we're just gonna gently fold all of the ingredients together. Okay, my rice is done. This literally took under 15 minutes, which is incredible. It smells so good. And if you want, you can season it up with a little bit of salt at the end if you just need a little more of a salty bite, but this just looks perfect. Let's go in for a spoonful, shall we? Oh yeah, the rice is super fluffy. You see the green peas, the crunchy cumin. Let's give this a taste. It looks super hot. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. The rice is perfectly cooked. It still has a little bit of bite to it, which I absolutely love. And then paired with the freshness of the green peas, they really taste green. There's no way of describing it any other way. Super, super duper fresh. And then the earthiness of that crispy cumin adds such a great textural dimension as well. Such a simple rice dish that you can prepare with almost any curry. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe for peas palau. If you did, feel free to give me a big ol' thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining us. Please subscribe for more videos. As always, if you have a question, comment, or request, leave it in the comments box down below. Until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye.